New tonight, legendary sportscaster Dick Vitale opens up about his cancer diagnosis. His cancer is in remission, but decades before his own diagnosis, he made it his mission to help children battling the very same disease. And he tells ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomone his greatest accomplishment has been his ability to give back. Those are my parents. I start every day with a prayer, thanking them for the guidance they gave me. Dick Vitale says his mother's words echoed in his head many times as he fought cancer. My mother used to always say to me, Richie, never Dick, Richie, don't ever believe in cat. The legendary college basketball broadcaster recently battled melanoma and then lymphoma. Doctors say his cancer is in remission. Vitale rang the bell at Sarasota Memorial Hospital earlier this month. <laughs> He says the most frustrating part were the three months where he could not speak during cancer treatment. He continues to battle issues with his vocal cords unrelated to cancer. There's a lot of ups and downs. I, I'll be very honest with you. Uh, seven months has been brutal. It's not been fun. And you said it so well. You know, three months I couldn't speak. Vitel shared his journey on social media, advocating for children battling the same disease. He showed us dozens of letters he's received from children. He says he reads and responds to every one. Send me their cards and letters. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. The Dick Vitale Gala is set for next week on May 6th, and it benefits the V Foundation for Cancer Research. The foundation is on track to raise more than $7 million this year for pediatric cancer research. No kid should suffer. No kid should have been doing what I was doing, going for chemotherapy, going for all scans. At 82, Vitel says his biggest accomplishment has been his ability to give back. I've lived a, a blessed life. But I want to help these kids. And I'll tell you, I'm obsessed with it. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News. And to learn more on Vital's mission to fund childhood cancer research, visit our website at abcactionnews.com. We've also posted information about his gala next week.